everybody. Welcome to The Dose. My name is Brian. It's great to have everyone on. You know, I was thinking today, there was a saying that used to be said that I heard a trainer say over and over and over again. He says, you got to keep the main thing the main thing because it's the main thing, <laughs> right? And it reminded me that so many of us, myself included, I'm probably one of the worst about it, so many of us find ourselves getting distracted throughout the day and led astray to where our attention is being given to things that are not the main thing. For example, did you ever go to sit down at your desk, you know, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're working in your own office, or, or, or did you ever go to work and you sit down at your desk and there's something specific that you need to do? There's a report that needs doing or there's a, you know, uh, some sort of project that needs working on and you sit down at your desk and you're like, okay, I'm not going to do anything but this until it's done. And four hours later, you look up and it's lunchtime and you haven't even touched it yet because you opened up your email and there was a late minute tasker in there from the boss or from your business partner. And then, you know, while you're in the middle of that, the phone rang and you answered it and it was this guy and he needed something. And, th and the next thing you know, you went down a bunch of different rabbit holes and you never got around to doing the main thing. Has this ever happened to you? Of course it has. It's happened to every one of us. And it's very, very difficult. In today's world of, of you know, mass media, all around us, we are surrounded every day by white noise between the news, between our phone, between Twitter and Facebook and email and Skype accounts. And I mean, just that we have so much stuff just flooding at us all the time that it's very, very easy to become distracted and lose sight of the main thing. So here's what you got to do. You got to stand out in a crowded marketplace. You got to stand out amongst the competition of your fellow coworkers or the folks that are in competition with you in your marketplace for the same kind of work that you're in by standing out from the crowd. And here's how you stand out from the crowd. You stand out by being more efficient. And the way you become more efficient is to keep the main thing the main thing because it's the main thing, right? So sometimes, occasionally, you're going to have to block off time where you literally take the phone off the hook Put your phone on mute, set it off to the side, and go, I'm not doing anything but this for two hours, or I'm not doing anything but this for three hours. You would be shocked and amazed if you will block time off and say, like, hey, first thing in the morning when I get to the office, I'm going to spend 30 minutes checking email and putting out any short-fused fires for 30 minutes. Then I'm going to focus on the main thing for two hours. I'm not going to do anything else. No one can no one can distract me during that two hours. I'm going to put a bubble around myself. I'm going to turn my phone off. I'm going to take my desk phone off the hook. I turn off the text messages. I close down Facebook on the computer. I close down Twitter. I close down Skype. I don't want any outside. Uh, turn the TV off. I don't want any outside influences distracting me. I tell, the, tell my assistant, please, no phone calls. Nobody knocking on my door. Leave me alone for two hours. Thank you. Goodbye. And block that time off. You would be shocked at how much you'll get done in that two hours. You, I, in fact, I'd be willing to stake my reputation on the fact that you could probably get more done in that two hours than you used to get done on that same project or idea or task, that same main thing. You'll get more done in that two hours than you used to get done in the entire day on that main thing because you kept the main thing the main thing for two straight hours and you didn't allow yourself to get distracted. What's a miracle about that is, is when you're done with that two hours, you now have the rest of your day to handle all the little minutia stuff, to handle the paperwork shuffling and the phone calls and the returning of text messages and all the and prospecting or doing all those other types of things, administrative tasks, you know, financial matters, all those kinds of things can be handled throughout the rest of the day. And you'll find that you're done with everything much sooner than you would have been otherwise. You'll be closing up the office sooner than you used to before. You'll be turning your cell phone off for the day if you're an entrepreneur sooner than you used to before. You'll be spending more time with family. You'll be spending more time in recreation. You'll be spending more time in the gym. You'll be getting more things done because you've kept the main thing the main thing and gotten that quantity of work done in a shorter period of time, allowing you to also handle all the rest of the things. The challenge with distractions is if you let the distractions become your focus, then you never get around to doing the main thing. And that's how we find ourselves working 12 and 14 and 15 hour days and still never getting done the things that we know have to be done because they are in fact the main thing. The interesting thing about distractions is they'll get done all on their own. If you keep the main thing the main thing and spend some focused, concerted effort throughout your day working on that, those other things will get accomplished. They will. I promise you. They will happen. Some of those short fusers, some of those short taskers, some of those fires you need putting out, you're still going to have to put them out and they'll get put out. But they'll get put out after 
you've prioritized the main thing. So keep the main thing the main thing. You know why? You guessed it, because it's the main thing. And that's the dose, guys. Go make it a great day.